Labor Day weekend in 2011, the wildfire started north of here, uh, down power line, and moved very quickly southward. It's characterized as the worst fire in Texas history as relates to uh, urban interface. The recovery has been uh, a challenge, and uh, we've worked hard to uh, not only put out the fire, but begin to recover from the effects of the fire and rebuild uh, the infrastructure and rebuild our community. Tree Folks became the face of reforestation for Bastrop County. Tree Folks is a community organization that educates the public on tree planting and tree care practices. When the Bastrop fires came through, um, you know, we were only a tiny nonprofit of three or four people. And uh, we were approached by the Lost Pines recovery team and they asked if we could uh, work with upwards of a thousand landowners to put 2.2 million trees in the ground. And I think in the room there was essentially stunned silence. Uh, tree folks had never been asked to do anything like this before in its history. The challenge was how do we get trees onto all these private lands in Bastrop County uh, that burned. It takes lots of hands, uh, lots of gloves and lots of boots on the ground to replant a million pine trees. Each volunteer event has maybe up to 100 people and each contributes several hours at a time. So over the years, we've accumulated thousands of man hours. Stick it in the ground a few times and make a nice hole. And we're gonna make sure that it's standing up straight. The seedlings that we plant are the Bastrop native loblolly pines. And those are ecologically distinct and genetically distinct from those in East Texas. When we get them, they're only about a foot tall. And over the next couple of years, you know, they can grow several feet tall. Perfect, good depth on that one too. Because this is a unique system, um, it is essential that trees get planted in a particular way. And so we have worked with individual landowners, every single one of them, to come out, walk the property, ask them what their needs are, create a plan uh, around their needs. And that's time consuming. But one of the reasons that this ecosystem, that these lost pines and bastrop were so valuable was the emotional pull. People wanted to live in this pine forest, in and amongst the pine forest, uh, almost a sanctuary or retreat. You know, when the fires swept through, it took their houses, it took their livelihoods in some cases, but it also took the very thing that made Bastrop what it was. And if tree folks can have some hand in restoring that for these exceptional people in this beautiful place, uh, then I think um, everything would have been worthwhile. Every now and then you have to give Mother Nature a hand and Tree Folks is Mother Nature's right hand in Bastrop County.